And welcome back to another episode of the Credit Authority. Once again, I am your host, Rhonda Kulch, and we always want to start our segment by thanking our sponsor. So thank you so much to Equity First. Once again, if you are experiencing credit and or financial challenges, feel free to reach out to any one of their trained professionals. They are bilingual and nationwide. They could be reached at 631 714 Four eight two two, and I'm I'm holding back my giggles <laughs> because in studio with us today is my buddy Pete Grosso from Remax Integrity. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? And hello, everybody. <laughs> By the way, let me just second. Equity First is amazing. I use them all the time. I refer them all the time, and uh, I love them as a sponsor. By the way, I am hitting things and ruining this whole day for you but I'm, but we're gonna make it entertaining well you know so for those that are listening um unfortunately one of my guests unfortunately unfortunately got, how un- about fortunately fortunately for pete <laughs> my unfortunate guest came down with covid uh coming back from a trip from florida so he's being pushed off to next week mm-hmm. and on a last minute hey pete what do you got going on this morning at 6 30 a.m i asked him if he could make it into the studio so he um he made the waves part and um, made the opportunity to get here. So I don't even know what we're going to talk about. What do you want to talk about? I'll talk about anything. You want to finish what we were just talking about or is that off the table? No, let's do it. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> we could talk about scandalous Jessica or we can, <laughs> we can talk about, you know, let, let's talk about that. So uh, we're, <laughs> okay, probably, we're probably going to get bleeped a lot. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about sexual tension in the workplace all right so you know you're a good looking guy and you know you're out and about Mm -hmm. i'm taking myself off the table for this conversation by the way (laughs) all right um when you're out and about in the marketplace and now you're out you're having a cocktail you're at a networking event and you see somebody that you want to approach Mm -hmm. like how does that work Right. You know, you're at a networking event. Is it, you know, breaking the rules and violating everything about being professional when you see somebody that you are interested in entertaining? I don't think so. And I hope not because you've seen me do it. I've seen you do it. (laughs) That's why I said we're probably going to get like, oh, my God, what are you talking about? I think as long as you're clear about your intentions, which I I always am, hopefully in an eloquent way, um, and there's no direct connection or conflict you absolutely can say hello let them know you find them attractive charming or in a, and that you'd like to see where this goes you know it's so funny because that you know long island is a messy business place mm-hmm. right like everybody knows everybody's business and mm-hmm. i feel like there are those times where i'm out and about and You just know people are sometimes up to no good and it's fun, right? Like I'm not going to say, look, you know, we're older now and the things that are happening in our adulthood are really no much different than I feel like when we were in high school. Right? It's almost like the same game playing, but it's it is just at a different at a different scale. It's at a higher scale. It's for the single people at around our age, it is probably crazier now than Uh than it was then. All reservations are gone. All <laughs> reservations are gone at this point. You know, you're like the most dateable guy that I know. <laughs> okay. I'll, and I'll I take am that looking too. for your forever partner, uh, right? Your too. human, as, mm-hmm. as I call my husband. Mm-hmm. You know, I refer to my husband as my human. Um, but you are like the most dateable guy that's out there. So, ladies. You need to check out Ooh. Pete's profile. <laughs> <laughs> this is work. This visit is working this, out, isn't it? So let's talk about something else that happened. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get in so much trouble. You know, we just literally were public enemy number one. So let's talk about the people who do their profile pictures that don't look like them. Are we talking about on dating sites? No, we're talking about like on, on social, social media. media. Yeah. Do you remember that photo I sent you the other day? I do. Name unnamed. Name unnamed. <laughs> so... How do you feel about when people are putting out images of themselves that don't represent what they look like? I, I you, it develops shock when you meet them. <laughs> because, <laughs> <laughs> it really does because the person that we're ta- I met at actually an event you brought me to. I saw her for the fir- her, her okay, which are for the, for, the, for the first time, and I did not actually know that that person was the person. So I think. 
You definitely, one, it says that you're not doing enough video because video does actually display the person that you are. So it's just, it highlights a, f a broken marketing technique in, in itself, but definitely just be yourself. You're, the more yourself you are, the, the better chance you got at, at doing well in this world. You know, and just out of curiosity, right? You have a team, you have what, 53, 55 agents that yes. work for you yes. at Remax Integrity. Would you have allowed that? Because this person, I think, was having conversations about moving from one brokerage to another. Mm -hmm. You know, would you have allowed that? Like, how would you handle a scenario as an employer who's representing, you know, somebody's representing your brand, even though they're an independent? I probably would have the conversation from a marketing perspective, not from... Like stop and, airbrushing? Yeah. Stop I'm, filtering? <laughs> yes, yes. I would. <laughs> Uh, and I and I would have it from that type of perspective. I think that is important. I think it, it, and there's some authenticity lost by looking perfect too. I think it's more important to be like the people that are looking at you, right? People are scrolling past. They they're not looking for perfection. They're looking for their people, and you got to be their people. You know, I know we talk a lot in the past about marketing and you and I get together every Tuesday morning, mm -hmm. right? And we're talking about business challenges and where we are in our game. And I think that if you are not always on point with who you are, you're hitting it on the head, you're losing authenticity. And I think that there's a handful of credibility of who you are that goes behind there as well. Yeah, that's I for me and how my business has grown. It's been through sharing who I am. It my all of my marketing is, hi, I'm Pete. I know, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm living. This is what makes me happy. This is what makes me sad. These are the moments that I'm having. And when I go, let's say on a listing, I haven't been on listing appointments where someone has watched a forty minute podcast with me, and they sit literally say. I someone sent me your video. I'm hiring you because I feel like we're already friends, and we've built. And so, like, we're halfway. We I've built the rapport without actually getting the rapport back. You know, so being your authentic self is the cheat code to building a big business. And I think too, you know, we spoke about this the other day. You know, highlighting our children in mm -hmm. our workplace. And I know that you bring Pocket Stella. Pocket Stella, that's right. <laughs> you know, Pocket Stella. How do you think by highlighting your daughter and who she is, you know, she's like a mini version of you, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you think that helps you when you're building your brand? Uh, well, one, it helps being around her and trying to share her with the world. And actually, like, she loves it. So, like. Doing that helps me be myself. Like I really and a better person because I want to. If I'm going to display myself to the world and her, then I have to live as a better person, and that's that's a huge thing. But let me just tell you a little bit about pocket stuff. Pocket, <laughs> I, I've had them for the last two nights because I've had to have them and drive them to school early in the morning. And so it, you've had Stella and Peter. I've had Stella and Peter, and. I got to make lunches in the morning. So, like, it's been chaos the last couple mornings. You're talking to a single... Yeah, I'm in I, single I'm, mom mode with I'm, my husband away. So, right, I'm feeling I'm aware. You. You, you... But, yeah, you got it down. I never do it. Usually, usually I have the kids on the weekends and, and one day during the week. Stella does not trust me at all. I learned this yesterday. <laughs> She's like, did you make Peter's lunch? I go, yeah, dude. She goes, let me see it. And she literally had to inspect <laughs> the lunchbox to make sure I the pepperoni her. was in the pepperoni place and everything was like in its space. She goes, okay, good job, dad. And <laughs> she zipped it up and I got to take them to school. I couldn't take them to school without the inspection. She, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Then there's my kids. Ma, just give me five bucks, you know. And we, you know, we go back and forth. But with with that said, as we giggle our way through the end of today's show, uh, once again, we are in studio. We are with my friend Pocket Pete. Uh, some of you know him as Pete Grosso. I know him as my the most eligible bachelor. My, if the I most may eligible say that again. bachelor. Um, <laughs> Pete, if they want to reach you, how do they find you and follow uh, you? You can find me on Instagram as Pocket Pete Peter Grosso and 631-320-8848. Call, text. Really? Can you slow it down? Say it again. 631-320-8848. 
for it. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Credit Authority. Hang tight, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.